hello everyone welcome welcome back to my channel so we are here again with another big unboxing that is kind of like not so many items in this one but i'm really excited this is some of the watercolor that travelers company just released last week or this week i think but before we start let's turn on a candle the candle for today is this one dog lover and this one is the ocean in sea salt again it's a soy candle i got this candle like i don't know i think like two years ago for my birthday and i already used a lot of it as you can see it's going down a lot but since i have so many candles it doesn't go all the way down really quick so anyways if you don't know me my name is b or veronica or vero however you want to call me and i make videos about stationery a lot of unboxing planning anything that has to do with paper so let's start by opening these so to start let's just get this in here out of our way and then we can open it i'm really excited i got some inserts for my notebooks so i got some inserts for my journals so let's just put this paper in here and let's take off all this paper that we don't need let me let's take all of this out so we can move this away and let me just show you what i got okay so i got some inserts i'm just gonna show you in this without opening this because the main thing is in here so i got this one this one is a craft envelope and it has eight envelopes i wanted to buy one of these to try it out and see how it is then i got another one of these ones if you saw one of my previous videos when i was showing you all the things that i did in april you may see that it's the same insert but i just love it it's so pretty so i got another one to use it again this year then i got some of these ones mainly because i already have two of the same big size normal size of the travelers notebooks so i got this one that is just the cream paper and i got this short trip refill and then i got these other ones i got this one that is the accordion folder and again i got many of these in here I got this one in here that is just a card file and this one you just have some inserts in there and another short trip so these are the ones inserts that i got for those notebooks mainly because i have some uh, interesting things going on uh, on july and the end of no yeah the end of july beginning of august kind of like a whole july i have so many things going on that let me show you later and talk to you about what it is but these are the most interesting ones. So, Traveler's Notebook released this one this week. And I was really interested in buying it because I haven't posted a lot in here. But the beginning of beginning of my channel, it was about watercolors and painting. So, if you want to go and see those really old videos, eh, those are there. So, I was really interested of this. This is the sketchbook. And it has this gold color in here. It has rings. But these rings, somehow, they are really inside. So, they are not so uncomfortable for me i don't know how to explain it but i i'm okay with these rings i'm not usually a big rings person but yeah you just have watercolor in here i mean i will have like most if it has some of those dots in here so you can rip it off if you want it but i guess it doesn't have it so i guess it's okay so you just have paper in there for watercolor so i'm really excited oh and in the bag it has in here some of these inserts that is just some to put anything in there kind of like a folder which is interesting and the last page is just blank so this is the whole travelers company as i mentioned the sketch book and then in here i also got this one this is the pocket um this is just the brush to use so let me see how do i open this let me just put it down so this is the pocket brush in here. It's a golden synthetic paint pointed. And in here it just says that this one, again, is a size eight. And I like how compact it is. And this one in here, it just says Rosemary and Co. And you just open it up. Ooh, I like the color in here. It's really hard though. Once you use the watercolor, it's gonna go and be a little bit softer. But I do like this that you can just put it in there and paint i don't know if you have seen some of my other videos but actually i was gonna do a comparison of the ones that i have i have this other 
brushes in here and these ones are the ones that i got off amazon they are a little bit thicker than this one but they are a little bit easier to take out and this one in here is thick but i have another ones in here it comes with a set of three they are way cheaper than the one that i got from travelers company of course but they are really similar they are kind of like the same design as you can see in there so it, these ones you can also screw it up and it also turn really big so i kind of like that and i do like as i mentioned that the travelers company one is really thin so hopefully i can put these ones it, these two are really similar they smallest one of that other set and the travelers company one they are both really thin but i hope i can put them all in this in here for traveling i just wanted to buy it and try it out eh, again because i'm really interested into this so let's see i think it's gonna be a tight fit but yeah i think i can fit them all in there so that's really nice the other ones that i have but these ones are more for home this is the water, watercolor brush set and this one my brother gave it to me for uh, i think it was christmas or my birthday i don't really remember it was like five years ago but this one's in here is by Nidin, and it just have all these different kind of watercolor brushes so this one is not for traveling this one is more for my house so these are the brushes i'm really excited to try that one and then this one for some reason i thought this was gonna be bigger I must say that the price, price was extremely expensive now that I opened this. This is really, really tiny. I think it was going to be a little bit bigger, but this is the watercolor set in here. And this is supposed to be the pocket, pocket size. And it has this small, beautiful compartment in here to put it. And it just come with this the travelers company usa and it has the color that are included in there i bought the one that was the palette plus and it was supposed to already have some colors inside it's really small which is good but at the same time the price was oh it was really expensive this is really small for some reason i thought it was going to be the same size as these travelers so it's going to be a little bit bigger um, but let's see i already have it in my hands i'm not gonna sell it of course this sold out like in five minutes i literally bought it and then i went to see and everything was sold out so i'm gonna keep it but yeah it just said travelers company usa and art tool kit and in here just a pocket palette so this one in here when you open it is literally really really small and it has all those colors again the colors that they mentioned in here they look really creamy and nice so it has all these colors the only thing let's see yeah let's just try to okay better yeah i was gonna say the only thing that i don't like is how these ones just move all the way down and it's hard to get the green in here but they look darker in the video but this is green and then these ones are pretty dark in here so i guess this one is the gray then we have the burned amber this one is supposed to be a blue this tree in here this row then you oh you have sienna i do love a lot of brown i don't know if you have seen but my nails are always like red brown or green and then we have yellows and some reds going on in there so this one is just to travel so you are supposed to just go with this and again with a small brush that i think is this one so yeah so you are supposed to just be able to travel with these two things and make beautiful designs in there which now that i look at more at it it's really compact it's really nice so let me just show you the way ones that i have that are really compact again i do have this one this one is of amazon and this one in here i just put some colors on my own once you put water they are gonna again activate and it's gonna be okay but this one in here you just have these magnetic things in here and then you just put it in there and then with this clip you can clip it into your painting or into your notebook like that and you can paint using both so i do like that one i must say this one was also extremely expensive when i got it i always have the like little mistake that i make is that i never really read the sizes i just say oh pocket size it's gonna be this oh this size so this one was again really expensive i don't recommend it because 
it was too expensive for the size but this one is actually also really nice it's really small it's really compact i don't know if you have seen the video where i put all the things that i have into my small dalphonics a pouch but i have this in there this one again is really dry in the inside and sometimes may come out in there but this also has some magnetic things in there so you can just put it together and it's gonna turn really big so you have a lot of space in here to use and you have this other clip this one is way cheaper in amazon and again it's really pretty to use it i again i'm still learning how to fill it out with watercolors but again you can put this into your book and just paint so i do like this one a lot and these are the ones that i do have that are like wooden with that magnetic thing the other one that i have for traveling is this one i also did like an opening kind of short in there but this one is the artesa one and this one in here it comes with all these colors and again this one i really like it it comes with a small small watercolor brush in here and you just say artesa and it has all these beautiful beautiful colors in there in here i put too much water but they look kind of like this kind of like pastels and you have still a lot of space in here to use if you want i do really like this one again but i think like from all of these ones it, the most expensive one was of course this one the travelers company one but this is also really slim and it's also really really small and compact to use so i guess this is the one i'm gonna use when i'm travel farther and the other ones are when i'm gonna be traveling close by but I love that it has the, the bag so I can put all these two things into the bag and I'm just ready to go and that's it. That's a small little thing I can go. But then after this one, the other one that was really expensive, I think it was this one, the Artesa one. And then after the Artesa, this one was expensive. Oh. After the Artesa one, this one was also the one that was most expensive. And then the cheapest one is, is this one, which I still really love. I love the color. But yeah, the other one that came with this thing that I got in Traveler's Company is just this. This up and tell arts. I have many of these ones. But this is just the watercolor kind of a brush to use it. And these, these things are really, really interesting. I really like them. But I think with this, I'm just going to put the one that I have in the Artesa and just put it in there because this one is kind of bigger. But this, basically, you just put water in there and then, of course, the water is going to come down and you can use it to paint. So you don't have to worry about having your own little bottle of water or anything. So I do like this one. Eh, of course, as I mentioned, I have like four of these ones. But, but yeah, so this was really really expensive i must say for all the things that i buy at travelers company i think this one is the one that i, I may have to use it many times to to make sure it's worth the price but but yeah i had the bigger one yeah this one is a pocket size but i have the other one that was bigger and i was gonna buy the bigger one but i was so afraid it was gonna be really big i told you it was gonna be bigger than this like really big and i was like no i'm just gonna get this the pocket size but it's way smaller than the pocket one so if you are thinking on buying this again this is just my personal opinion everything i have said in this video is my personal opinion but just try to read <laughs> the sizes and just see that this pocket one is gonna be way smaller than this small a passport size notebook that you have in there and when you compare it with the bigger notebook that we can see in here some of the inserts when you compare it with that one it's gonna be way way smaller so just keep that in mind so you can select a if i can buy it again i will buy the bigger size maybe because it was only like 12 dollars extra is still a lot but yeah so now what I want to do is that I just want to try out these colors to see how they are. And then after that, I can let you guys go. Okay, so I already got all the things that I need. So I'm just going to need some water. I'm going to keep this one in here so I can see the name of the color. And I have a, here like a tissue paper. And I'm going to try, of course, to use the one that I just got from Traveler's Company. And I'm going to use this one that is, again, really cute but it's small. So I still can put more colors in here that I want. So I'm just going to try out this one. It's just going to be a little swatches of the colors. So the first one that we have in here is supposed to be the transparent yellow one. So let's just break out this little brush in here. And it's the yellow medium. So this is this one in here. 
so it's supposed transparent yellow medium Ooh, it's actually like a yellow i didn't expect it to be so bright i expected it to be a little bit more like you know like a pastel kind of color but it's really bright so let's just wash it over and dry it out in here put a little bit more water let's try the second one this one in here is permanent red light so let's see i think these ones are really bright colors again in here in the card they look like they are going to be a little bit less bright but they are pretty bright in there so we have that red one in there and then the other one is the turquoise in here so they just activate it and let's see how it looks okay again this one is really really bright i do kind of like the colors though they are really bright but let's see the next one is the yellow this one in here i don't know how to pronounce that name so i guess this is the yellow that i was yeah this is like the one that i was thinking it was gonna be this first one in here but it's a little bit different so the next one in here is the kinakritong rose i don't know how to say it but it's this one in here in the middle so it's just a rose one oh i do like this rose one is really nice kind of like really pinky in there and you guys already know that i don't really like pink a lot but this one this one is a nice pink then we got this blue that again i don't know how to pronounce it so let's see how it looks oh this is really really blue it's like a the blue that you can imagine what you at least me when i think about blue this is the blue that i think of so the next one in here is the sienna that is the burnt sienna and it's the one in here i'm really excited about this one. Oh yeah did not disappoint i love this color so pretty this brown is kind of like a burnt reddish brown i really like it the next one in here is the blue violet it's funny because this when you look at it in person it kind of looks like really like a black one. Oh, it's really purple i'm not a big purple kind of person depending if it's kind of combined with gray i kind of like it but this one is too purple then we got this one the ultramarine so let's see i'm really excited about the green one too okay so this one is kind of similar as this second one but it's a little bit less less blue in there i don't know how to explain it but yeah i do like a lot how this one is drying out the turquoise and this one these two are my favorite so far then we got the amber the burnt amber so let's see let's see how these ones look oh i do like this a lot well i got some bias again my favorite colors for this year are greens and browns in here so i do like how this one is looking i do like how the colors are drying out in this watercolor paper this is supposed to be gray so let's see the gray one in here oh this looks like really really black instead of gray let's see how it looks when it drains out i do like how it moves with the water it's nice i would think more like like a black though not a gray and then the last one i'm excited about this one Ooh okay let's see oh this is really greenish i thought it was gonna be like a military green when you look at it before you put the water it looks kind of like military green put a little bit more in there and a little bit more to see how it dries out but these are the colors that it has so when you compare it eh, it's a little bit different like the turquoise in here looks way different than the one in here this one in here look a little bit more bright than the one in here then the other ones they do look exactly like they are supposed to, except this one the sub green this one in here looks really bright again so these two are way brighter than the ones that come into this at least my set the one that they sent me out are way brighter i don't know the ones that you're gonna have but this one in here is the colors again it's bright and colors and it's by the van gogh by royal talents so these are the colors that come with it again this i'm just gonna wash it out 
and dry it in here so I can close it. And I do really like this brush. I'm not gonna lie. I still have to use it a lot to make sure I make the most of the money that I pay for this. But yeah, so, so far these are the colors and this is everything that I got for this release of Travelers Company. Let me know if you bought this and what do you think? Do you think your money was worth it? Do you like it? What do you think about it? I don't know. There is so many thoughts in my mind right now about this release. It mainly because of the price. But, but yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you want to see any more videos about these watercolors and everything so I can show you any drawings or paintings if I make those. But, but yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you like it. I hope to see you in the next video. And please leave me a comment if you got until the end of this video and you watch everything. Just leave me a comment down below and just tell me anything about stationery. What is your favorite stationery item? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So bye-bye.